So this is going to be a video response to Reed Hendricks's uh, latest video that he put out where he basically called a lot of people sunshine patriots and I'm 100% agreeing with this guy. He is spot on. Like I cannot agree with him more. He, he nailed it right on the head. I think he's true. You're going to have a group of these people and it's already on Facebook and all the social forums where all these people just hate on the gun ownership and they're gun owners you know they start out exactly like he said i'm a proud gun owner i hunt i do this i go i shoot clays i even own an ar i do this but i don't see the need for a bump fire system so i'm gonna cowtail to that because we gotta give them something now i i didn't call i never heard the sunshine patriots you know being used like this before but i've always called them butters like from south park you know I'm a gun owner, and I, I like the Second Amendment, but, you know, but, I don't know, you know, but, but this, you know, I don't see the need for a 30-round magazine. I hunt. I go duck hunting. I go deer hunting. I don't need this. Well, cool, like he exactly said, the Bill of Rights is not a Bill of Needs, so how are you going to actually explain this to your kids someday when everything keeps disappearing? I think we've given enough and I was at the point hoping that the way things were going prior to this Vegas shooting that we were going to see restrictions come down perhaps that import ban come down perhaps suppressors were going to come into the limelight and you know what would be really cool let machine guns come back to the citizen, private citizens without harassing the crap out of them making them cost hundreds of thousands of dollars Everybody goes, what do you need a machine gun for? I don't know. What do you need air for? I need it to breathe, right? Well, then don't tell me how to live my life. Yeah. The thing is, they all want to ban something. They all want to come up with a new law. The thing is, there is no law that would have done anything to stop this guy. This guy was evil, if that's all he was, and motivated to kill people. Well, guess what? I, anybody can be motivated to kill people, and you don't need a bump fire system to do it. You could do it with a truck. You could do it with derailing a train. You could do it with starting a fire and blocking all the exits. You know, thank God that he wasn't, um, thank God, I, I'm gonna put it this way, thank God someone who at least, I'm gonna call an amazing hero, stopped him. Stopped him, he, he flat out stopped him. You know how he did it? He interfered with him while he was shooting from that window. He was in the hallway as a security guard, and he stopped him. Unarmed, unfortunately, because why? Because we gave in. A lot of these companies are afraid to arm security because they're afraid to get sued. They're afraid for all these legal reasons. I mean, it's a total shame. I remember being an unarmed security guard back in the day, and it was just a crock of shit. Excuse my language. But, you know, what was our job? Because I don't refer to people as security guards as security guards. You're a guy that's got to report something if something bad does happen. So, let's just call it that. Um, I, I, it's completely off tangent at this point. But, you know, reading was spot on. And I hundred percent, or excuse me, I, I back you 100% on this. Um, I'd hope to see uh, me and my me and my buddy be able to come and take training with you to see how you run things. And I would love to learn as much as possible as you can because I love learning and I love teaching. And I, can, I believe that you never stop learning. And the techniques and things that you can give are valuable and I've heard great responses from people from you. And I respect you 100% and I, you know, I think a lot of patriots are gonna show their true colors on this. And that goes for anybody. Like, if you have a three percenter type person who's not going to back the bump fire system and just cowtail to it, well, then I guess what? When I say three percenters aren't always three percenters, then yeah, you might want to take that little abbreviation off the end of your name. And if you're in a militia kind of thing and you can't support the bump fire system, yeah, you you might not want to call yourself a militia. You might want to call yourself Antifa. So, you know what? Have a great day carry on and you know call your NRA and tell them that you're not going to give them money that you're going to rescind everything that they ask and 
if the NRA does back this, um, they're going to lose a lot of money. They're going to lose their support. And I think, <laughs> I can't believe they actually went forward with it, but I think it's going to hurt the NRA a lot more. But I think there's a gun owners of America that I'm going to check into, and they seem to be the kind of people that support what we're doing. You know, there is no give. There is nothing. We don't give anything anymore. We gave already, and people gave their lives for it. So... Uh, please stand with us and stand up against the NRA's stupidity and please stand up against all the other stuff that's going on right now. Um, support your gun owners, support your gun rights, go out this weekend and shoot. You know, there's the one thing about supporting it, there's also about doing. So go out there and be someone that can actually be at scene. You know, carries responsibly and go shoot some guns, have fun and practice. Thank you.